Armored Core Law, Global Armaments Europe. Heretical zealots who cared more for their research than their own lives, or scientists that were making progress, only to be cut down by a corporation fearing the loss of profit and power. This is Global Armaments Europe. History Global Armaments Europe, or GA Europe, was an independent company that once served as head of operations in Europe for GA America. Even before the National Dismantlement War, GA had assets in the United States, Japan, China, the Philippines and Australia, which they would use to grab huge amounts of power during and after the National Dismantlement War, including countries like Poland, as shown by the Haider Arsenal. At this time, GA Europe functioned more as a branch of GA, supporting them and performing research for the corporation in their newly conquered European region. The research done by this branch at the time included weapons, next parts and behemoth class weapons. However, this branch would soon face internal disputes, which started to strain the relationship between GA and this branch. Information would point that it was during the development of the Sol Dias that started these internal disputes. Though no reason is stated officially by any corporation, it is clear that during this time in Europe, Reylinard was working with Arkavit to develop more powerful Kojima technology, and also at the same time attempting to break into solid weapon manufacturing, resulting in the corporation trying to work with GA Europe. However, despite GAE's enthusiasm for such an alliance, they were constantly blocked by GA America, who reportedly was sceptical of Raylinard's motives. But the more likely reason is that GA America had interest in keeping them from diversifying, since it could result in a challenge to GA's dominance in the Greater Pacific Rim. Yet it seems this would not stop GA Europe, who with haste would sever ties with GA America and become an independent company, who would ally itself with Akavit and Raylinard as soon as possible. Yet this dream of alliance would never come to be, instead this independent company would face the reality of trying to fight one of the rulers of this new corporate run world, a fiery purge done by Anatolia's mercenary on the Haider arsenal. Anatolia's next would destroy the three Sol Dias Behemoth prototypes, take the lives of a number of GAE security personnel, capture the facility and kill GA's strongest original and ace, Menuru, and her next primitive light. The question raised by many about this purge is why Menuru was here in the first place. Many saw her as being loyal to GA and seemed to share no personal links with GA Europe. There are a number of theories for her sudden attack. One theory is that Menuru may have originated from GAE and is then compelled to save her home from Anatolia's mercenary, acting independent from GA. The second theory is she was sent by GA to kill the mercenary, as the corporation had begun to fear this lynx and their next. Again, there is no solid evidence to point to this being the case, however, as history would show that Gia would only benefit from Anatolia's mercenary being alive, as their skill would go to carry the corporation to victory in the ensuing Lynx War. A final theory suggests she was an Arkavit mole within Gia, and only showed her true colours when she thought it would be best to kill Gia's mercenary and then flee back to Arkavit. In truth, there is no solid piece of evidence that pins down why she did this. We only have the words of Menno and Fiona Jarnefeld, and they do not make anything crystal clear. Taking the dying words of Menno, it's a lie. What was this lie? Did Arkavit tell her a dream that she saw at this point was a lie? Was the lie that she saw that GA, the corporation she had chosen to serve, had no intention of finding a peaceful option to this GAE matter, and instead chose to make an example of them with this purge? The answer is sadly lost with her. Yet we have to take in the reaction and words of Fiona too, who at the time when detecting a next in the facility said Arkavit, like she was expecting an Arkavit next to show up. However, it's only after the death of the enemy next that Fiona announces it was primitive light, causing her to question what is going on, before finally saying, this would mean that, before going silent. From these words alone, it is possible that the final theory is correct, that Menno all along was a mole who rose to a rank of trust within GA to gain corporate secrets and internal projects so that she could share it back to the company she was really loyal to. But then again, these are just words. Still, even with this turn of a GA next, the purge would be complete and although it is unclear what happened to the retaken facility, the remaining GAE survivors' fates would all be too clear as they would be forced into hiding. It seems most would make their way into the territories of the Leo Mechanica Corporation, Europe's second largest military manufacturer, and Melies, who at the time were merging to create the Interior Union. After which, what remained of GAE would find themselves being funded by Interior Union, but not directly, instead becoming part of Taurus, a new starter company funded by Interior Union who would leave this company to operate independently. 
even if in reality the CEO or management team of Taurus could continue to report to Interior Union under the guise of the corporation being a shareholder of the company. Nevertheless, here is where GAE would become a subsidiary of Taurus, but soon the once independent GA Europe's name would fade from the pages of history as Taurus continued to grow. After acquiring what remained of the destroyed Arkavit and Railinard engineers in the company at the time, their new growth and products would allow them to compete with corporations like Omer Science, making them perfect candidates for the league. Products Global Armaments Europe Products is a short list. Starting off with a single neck park, the biped legs, named the GAE N01SLL, these were experimental quad legs for heavy back mounted weapons. They also produced two arm weapons, the GAE N01SLWH, a pistol that deals high damage per bullet, but not effective outside close range, and the GAN 01SSWHE, a storable handgun designed as a backup weapon for a next. Despite this, however, what this company will be most known for is the production of the prototype behemoths intended to carry the Soldius cannons created by Arkavit. Though the three created here never saw action, every Lynx will remember the deaths and destruction GAE paid for its production. Lynx employed. A single Lynx is said to have stood loyal to this company. Mrs. Theresia, pilot of Carium, alive and would go on to work for Taurus. So the end of Global Armaments Europe was the beginning of Taurus. In a twisted way, you could say this company got its alliance with Arkavit and Reynard in the end, only once each other's identity had been torn down and then rebuilt into a single new one. This ends the report on the company known as Global Armaments Europe.